what up Jippers, our plays back once again for another No Man's Sky next video and today we're going to be talking about 5 very easy ways to make a lot of money in No Man's Sky with the next update. As a new player, as someone in the early game, these 5 methods are really easy for you to do and they should help you build up an absolute ton of units very early on in the game and set yourself up for success as you play No Man's Sky next. So I hope you enjoyed this one guys and of course I hope you find it useful. I have also included video clips to go along with everything I'm talking about here so that should really help you when it comes to you trying to do this yourself in terms of what to look out for in the game. And I would like to give a very big thank you and shout out to Legion245, he is a member of the Jipper Colony and he did help me with some of the video clips. Thanks a lot for that one and let's get started. So method number one is my personal favourite. It's super, super easy and it's definitely the one that can earn you the most units. If you follow this guide, you can end up getting 20 million units for one single item that you will find and it only takes a couple of minutes to do and there's no difficulty involved at all so definitely a very good one and that is finding ancient artifact crates and the keys to unlock them because if you find one you find the three keys needed to unlock one of these crates you then get given an artifact so there's no enemies to fight there's no danger involved you've just got to do a little bit of searching and if you do that and you get the artifact these can range in price from anything to a couple of million to 20 million and possibly more 20 million is the most that I've seen at the moment and in this video I'll show you the first one I ever got which gave me 17 million units on my first ever attempt at using this and I did it in about 10 minutes so it's definitely a good one. So the way this works is you need to look for ancient ruins so you can see those there on the video footage they're very cool looking ancient buildings and the ones you're looking for are often kind of destroyed and left in little pieces of rubble. If you find one of these and do a little scan around, you should find a large artifact crate. That crate will need three keys to unlock it. And the good thing about this is those keys are always located very close by. So all you have to do is do a little scanner rooney around the area and you should find artifacts marked on the map. Tag those by holding down X, go over to them, bury them out of the ground, open the little crate and that will give you one key. Once you've got three of those keys, you just go back to the large crate, open that and that is when you'll get yourself one of these really nifty little artifacts. They come with some cool lore and story around them, but the main thing of course is you can sell them and make a ton. Now you can find these ancient ruins just randomly, so if you're scanning while you're flying around in your ship or walking around on planets, you can spot them. But a really easy way to find them is drop down a signal booster, look for a monolith and then when you go to a monolith, if you ask it for historical data, it will automatically mark one of these sets of ruins on the map for you. If that ruin doesn't have the artifacts, you should be able to interact with the ruin and get pointed to another one and that one should have the artifacts. So it's actually really easy to kind of track these down to find them and get the artifacts from them. You don't have to fight any enemies, the sentinels don't chase after you. Really simple, really easy and definitely earns you a whole whole load of money. And it's just cool as heck. Feeling like Indiana Jones running around digging out artifacts and finding treasure. It's just a really cool thing. Definitely one of my favorite things that they've added for this update. Now on to number two and this is a really simple one. As soon as you've got your analysis visor fixed as one of the very first things that you do when you start the game, it's really simple. All you have to do is just scan everything. Make sure you scan all of the minerals, all of the plants, all of the trees and all of the creatures because this will earn you units. That's a really good way to build up some starter money to get you going but that's not really the key thing here. The key thing I want to talk about with the scanner is upgrading your analysis visor. I definitely recommend you go to a space station as early as you can and you buy the visor upgrades that will let you scan creatures and scan plants for even more units. If you get the S class versions of these you can end up getting getting hundreds of thousands of units for scanning a single creature. So you can imagine as you're running around on planet after planet, scanning all the creatures you see, you're going to build up millions of units very quickly without really having to do anything you wouldn't already be doing. So definitely look to get those upgrades as soon as you can. That is a very, very good way to make money early on in the game. And you don't actually have to do anything different to what you would normally do. Now we're on to the third one. This is another one of my favourites. However, this one does come with a warning. Because unlike the first two, this one involves a lot of danger. And that, of course is touching the eggs. Now there are two types of eggs in the game that I've seen so far. There are humming eggs which are completely harmless. You can open them up and you can take out the treasure inside and you won't come into any trouble. But the eggs that I'm talking about for this particular tip are called whispering eggs. Now be warned, if you touch these eggs, 
do so at your own risk. Anyone who's watching my Let's Play series of No Man's Sky next will know that I've done this and some terrible things happen when you do. Because if you break one of these eggs open, while they do drop incredibly valuable loot in the form of little lava eggs, if you pick one of these eggs up, just for one individual egg, you get almost 100,000 units, which is a massive amount of money when you're just starting out in the game. So if you happen to stumble across one of these sites with some eggs, this can be a very good way to build up a couple of million just from one little site if it has a few patches of eggs there. But of course, the danger is when you try and do that, as soon as you break open one of these eggs, the xenomorphs will come out of the ground. These biological horrors, these terrifying creatures will burst out of the ground and attack you and they're very fast and there's a lot of them. So it can be quite daunting as a new player, but don't fear, there's a really easy way to harvest these, make loads of money without too much risk. All you need to do is crack one of the eggs open, quickly grab it. If you're quick enough, you can even get two or three at a time and then jetpack boost onto the building nearby. Sit on the building, wait for for a good opening until the creatures have kind of dispersed a bit then jump back down and repeat this over and over again until you've got all of the eggs in the area and then just fly back to your ship and fly off into the sunset with all of your riches definitely a very good way to make millions of units from one little site very early on in the game you do of course have to come across them not every planet will have these whispering eggs but it's just something to remember and look out for if you do see them and a little tip is if you're scanning around and you see loads and loads of hostile creatures show up in one place that's usually because you've found one of these little whispering egg sites so yeah have fun with that one but try not to get cricked now the fourth tip that i've got is looking out for items on planets that are high in value and the main example i can think of here is vortex cubes if you go to a planet that has vortex cubes make sure you're on the lookout for them scan regularly as you're exploring around because if you do find them they're worth a couple of thousand units each and that can be a very nice little boost without you really having to do anything. If you're already exploring on a planet that has them, basically just keep your eyes peeled. If you find them, definitely grab them because they're quite valuable. And the fifth and final tip is another really simple one that doesn't require you to do anything different to your normal exploring in the game, and that is looking out for sentient plants. So if you use your analysis visor to scan around, if you see a little yellow symbol that says sentient plant, Go there because it will normally be something harvestable that earns you quite a lot of money. And the main two that you're likely to see are album and pearls and gravitino balls. Grab a couple of these, they stack in your inventory, leg it back to the ship and then you can sell them for a pretty penny. But again, another one to be a little bit careful with because if you do harvest these, quite often that will lead to the sentinels coming after you and hunting you down. Now I wouldn't worry too much about that because while it can be quite intense, as long as you just focus on legging it away and not trying to fight them, even as an early player, you should be completely fine. So my tactic, open a couple of these up, grab a few of the Gravitino balls, grab a few of the pearls, and then just run, jetpack boost, leg it, try and run into trees and forests. And all you've got to do is evade the Sentinel cert for just over 30 seconds, and then you'll be completely fine. And you can go back and get the rest if you didn't manage to grab them all in one go. But that's another one of the easy ones, just something to be aware of and to look out for when you're exploring in those early planets, because if you do find these results, Resources, they are quite useful. So yeah, that was five easy ways to make a lot of units as a new player to the game very early on in the game. They're all quite simple, they're all quite easy, and some of them can really earn you a pretty penny, especially the ancient ruins. If you find those artifacts, that is a very good way to get yourself rich. One artifact, if it ends up being a 17 million, 20 million artifact, is more than enough to get yourself a really nice ship to begin with and buy yourself a whole load of upgrades that you need to get going and start doing really well. So definitely try these out. Let me know how you get on. And of course, if you found some other really cool ways to make money early on, definitely leave those in the comments so we can help all the jippers out there trying to make their way in this crazy universe. So that was five easy ways to make units as a new beginner in No Man's Sky with the next update. I hope you found it useful and of course I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like and a comment. That stuff helps like crazy. And if you do want to support me a little bit more than that, I have also got a Patreon and a merch store where you can support me and get yourself some cool rewards. And of course, don't forget to sign up to the Jipper Colony today. The link to the official Jipper Colony Discord channel will be in the description and the pinned comment. You can sign up there, you can join all of us, talk to loads of people on every platform that are enjoying No Man's Sky and looking for people to play with, and also stay tuned for cool events that we're going to be doing in the future with the multiplayer in No Man's Sky next.
So that's it for this one, guys. Take care of yourselves and peace. Just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of my current Patreon supporters. Shrock Majelli, Wyo, Madeline J, NTB, Ovin S, Tyler D, Todd Cook, Neil B, Anarchy, Vanilla, Rasmus K, Autumn Long, Lukash, Husband Vader, Amras, Dale from the Atlas Herb, Ty the Blazer, Joannes Anderson, Heath, The Portrait Dude, Akami, Mac for a Day, Ongrad, and Dead D Reza. You guys are the best. <laughs>